Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm a viola player in Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra. For us viola players, Symphony No. 10 of Gustav Mahler has a very special place in orchestral repertoire. Mahler decided to start the symphony with the solo of the viola group, without any accompaniment of another instrument. This opening passage of the symphony evokes in me sadness and loneliness. Perhaps we can refer to Mahler's personal situation while he was composing this symphony. He had failing heart condition and his wife Alma had an affair with architect Walter Gropius. However, after the opening theme, Mahler brings second theme, full of love. Perhaps it was love for Alma which won over his broken heart. When we listen to the first movement of the symphony, it's 25 minutes of fight or complimentation between two themes, the first one, theme of sadness and emptiness, and the second one, theme of love. One could ask, did Mahler look for professional help? Yes, he visited Sigmund Freud in Leiden. Then he came back to Vienna and referred to situation as resolved. He loved Alma. And he noted that also in the score of the symphony, for you to live, for you to die. Mahler very often refers to nature in his music. I found one special moment in this symphony where I found myself on the walk in the park, being part of the nature, surrounded by trees, and sheep. I have a very special memory from this concert. As a viola player, I'm seated right in the middle of the orchestra and playing in this wonderful hall, Concertgebouw. There is a display of composers' names on the balconies. And when you are seated right in the middle of the stage, you are facing the name of Gustav Mahler. So for me, there is no more beautiful symbolism as this playing Mahler's dance symphony, which is the most special for viola players, and looking at the conductor with name of Mahler right above his head. Mahler was very superstitious about symphonic numerology. Beethoven died after finishing his ninth symphony and Bruckner died while composing it. Mahler wanted to avoid this curse, so after composing his 8th symphony, he composed 
that's lead von der Erde, which he didn't call symphony. Then he composed ninth symphony, thinking, oh, now it's my tenth symphony, so the curse is broken. Unfortunately, when he was composing his officially tenth symphony, he died and symphony remained unfinished. Join us on last journey of Gustav Mahler. We will play for you with Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra, with Yannick Nezesegen, symphony number 10 of Gustav Mahler, completed by Derek Cook. <laughs> 